Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be uh, a swatches and demo of the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Surreal Light Palette. Uh, so I am very excited. First off, this is teeny tiny and I know everyone always says that and I always think, oh, it can't be that small. This is tiny. But, uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm filming this portion of the video uh, Tuesday evening. This is when I uh, got my package and I'm going to be doing a sort of uh, demo tomorrow morning when I get ready um, for work and I'll be using this palette to uh, as my cheek color. So first off, this is gorgeous. Um, you can tell, I mean, it's not it's not marble, but it looks really elegant. Um, I have one other, oh, I just opened it. <laughs> um, I have one other ambient lighting whoop, a product from Hourglass uh, and it looks like this. Uh, this is the ambient uh, lighting powder in dim light. I actually used it as a highlight on my cheeks today and actually really enjoyed it. Um, but this is what we're really here for, right? So let's go ahead and do some swatches. Okay, so this is what this beautiful palette looks like. I kicked myself over and over again last year for not buying the uh, holiday palette. I even kept an eye out uh, online for it. I know Nordstrom Rack had it for a while, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to spend the $80. I'm really regretting that I didn't. Um, but that's basically why I had to pick this palette up. Uh, so it's a good way to try a lot of these products at once. Um, and I really think you get a, a good variety. So let's go ahead and do some swatching. So we get, uh, this is a finishing powder and that is uh, in the shade Surreal Light. Then we have, let's see here, two is the bronzer, which is Surreal Bronze Light, which is uh, up here. And then we have the number three, which is the blush in Surreal Glow. So that is this one right here below the bronzer. And then we have shade number four, which is this blush. And that is the uh, Surreal Effect. And then we have uh, number five, which is the strobe powder that is up here. Uh, and that is in the shade uh, Surreal Strobe Light. Uh, it's really nice. They have everything laid out on the back for you. As you can see, there's a little palette in the uh, that is numbered and mapped out, and then everything that you do get in the palette. Uh, this palette does retail for $80, um, but I did pick it up during the Sephora um, three times points for VIB sale. Um, I was just really afraid to uh, wait any longer to pick this bad boy up because I didn't want to go out of stock before the 20% uh, off sale that will be happening in November, I believe. So anyway, let's go ahead and get to swatching. Uh, oh my gosh, I don't even want to touch it. <laughs> but this, oh, it's so soft. Okay, so this is the finishing powder. This is what uh, that looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and swatch them all. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's actually really pretty, a bit uh, sparkly, but I don't, but it's not like chunky glitter. It's more of sort of just like a glow factor. Uh, and it is down there by my wrist, and that is what that one looks like. Next, I'm going to be doing the bronzer. Oh my gosh, which is even softer. And it looks a little bit more pinky toned. Oh my goodness. And that is what that one looks like right there. Very natural looking bronzer. Almost a little bit gray in tone. Like a pinky, like a bit of, what is that, grayish? I hate that word, but that's kind of what looks like a, a gray beige sort of color. Um, but really pretty. And then let's do, what is this one? This is... Uh, Surreal Glow, the blush in Surreal Glow. Looks really natural. Uh, and that is what that one looks like. I have a feeling that's the one I'll be using tomorrow morning. Okay, and then we have the other blush, equally as soft as the bronzer. Uh, and this is what this one looks like. And this is in the shade uh, Surreal Effect. And that is a much brighter pink sort of shade, very pretty. And then last but not least, we have the highlight shade or the strobing powder uh, in the shade uh, Surreal Strobe Light. And that looks a little bit dark for a highlight on my skin. Um, ooh, it looks actually very similar to the Surreal Light shade down there, and that is that up there as well. I'm very excited to get into these products. Um, like I said, the second half of this uh, video will be me using these products tomorrow morning uh, when I am doing my makeup. First impressions, the powders are really smooth. They don't pick up too much powder at all. Um, is it worth $80? I guess we'll see after I use them tomorrow if I feel like I'm glowing to the gods in a really subtle way. <laughs> um, or if not, I'm this guy might be going back. I hope not because 
I debated with myself over and over again if I needed this palette, and clearly I did. Um, but if it doesn't work out, uh, you guys will definitely uh, know. All right, guys, so now for the second part of the video where we are going to be doing sort of a little demo. So I have the rest of my makeup on, foundation, concealer, eye makeup, brows, everything. Um, but I have no bronzer, blush, or highlights. So that's where this bad boy comes in. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm, so, I'm sort of afraid to use this shade. It's a lot darker than I thought that it was. Um, but let's just go ahead and do it as sort of like an all-over powder. Should we do bronze? Well, let's do this first. Oh boy, that kicks up some powder. Okay. Tap off the excess. So got a nice amount on there. Sort of a light dusting. And let's see how this goes. Okay, so I don't notice like a change in the color of my foundation or anything. Uh, it just looks really healthy, actually, really nice and glowy. I don't know if it's picking that up on, ooh, yeah, it is on camera. Uh, and that's not even a highlight. So that was the uh, finishing powder here. Now let's do a blush. I'm going to go with this, let's see, this more cool toned. Yeah, this one up here, this more cool toned blush, because this might be a little bit too pop too much of a pop of color too warm for the look that I have um, I use the modern renaissance palette and I have what is it antique bronze on my lid and then warm taupe in the crease and then tempura tempura uh, as a brow bone but let's go ahead and use okay so it picks up a nice amount of color and I don't see a, not as much powder kick up um, as I did with the finishing powder but let's go ahead and do blush excuse me while I smile to bring out my cheekbones <laughs> actually, I don't know if you can see, um, it's a really subtle color, um, but I actually, it actually looks a little bit warmer than I anticipated it looking, um, but it's actually really pretty, very subtle like I said, but again, that's what I usually prefer in my cheek colors. All right, so now for, oh, I didn't grab a highlighting brush. We'll use one of these. Okay, so we are using the, I guess I could have told you, this is just a BH Cosmetics. It doesn't have a name on it. I'm guessing it's just a powder brush. I wanted something a little bit looser, uh, loosely packed dense, loosely, something not as dense or that is loosely packed, whatever, in the ferrule um, to for the setting powder. And then for the blush, I used my Morphe E4. And then this is the Morphe E3, and I'm going to use that for bronzer, and this is the uh, bronze shade that we're going to use right here. I'm not having a problem with my brushes fitting in or going over into other colors, um, which is good. I know that some people's hesitation with the palette because the, the pans are quite small if you compare that to the actual pan size, but... I don't do a whole lot of bronzing, sort of just under my cheekbone and then a little bit on my jawline, but mostly under the cheekbone and uh, temples. Okay, so for bronzing, how do I feel about that? Um, ooh, it looks a little patchy, uh, even though I did set my makeup with a I feel like I just see a line down. I don't know if you can see, if you can see, and that's not even where I really apply. I didn't go like up and down, but there's like a line on my face. I'm not sure if that's from sleeping or if that's from this bronzer or what it's from. Um, it is super subtle. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a contour shade. Not that I ever really contour my face, um, but that is what the bronzer looks like. I don't know if you can actually tell. Uh, on my skin, but it does look like a little bit of color has been added back to my fair, fair skin. And now for the highlights. I'm, this is another shade that I'm a little bit hesitant about, but hey, the finishing powder worked out great, so maybe this highlight will too. Uh, so we're going to use just, what is this, the e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush. 
pour a bit of hot, that's just one little dab into that pan. Oh my gosh, okay. Tap off that excess, right? And highlight my cheekbones. Okay. Um, I don't know that I'm actually even seeing anything. So when I swatch it, it's there. I don't know if I'm actually seeing it on my skin though. Maybe, oh no, I am. Okay, it's super subtle, uh, but I have a window right here, which is why it looks better on this side of my face as opposed to my faraway window that's over there. Uh, and it is morning and it's not super bright out yet. Um, but there's a little bit of glow that catches it when um, I do turn my head in the light. I don't know if I want to add any more. Maybe I'll add more to this side too. Okay, so again, this is a palette that um, is super, super subtle. And it's just sort of supposed to bring out a glow from a lit from within or a glow from within sort of look. And I definitely think that that works uh, with what we've just done on camera. I think I'm in love with this finishing powder. Um, it really just gave a nice sort of glow all over sort of look. Um, I don't know that I'd be able to use it as sort of like an undry powder or anything like that because it is super dark compared to my skin. Uh, with the light dusting, you can't even really tell the difference between my skin tone um, with the finishing powder on it. I do think I look pretty pretty glowy, surprisingly, with that it's all um, powder products that we used. Um, let's see, can I deepen up anything? I kind of want to go in with more of the bronzer to see if I can deepen that up. up on my brush fine it's not like it's I just want to sort of blend it all together with the blush like I'm not going for like a super contoured look or anything I don't know if that bronzer is all that buildable and I sort of have to see like a line on this side now too Okay, guys, we might have to work with this a little bit more before I decide if it stays or if it goes, but I do like the setting powder or the finishing powder quite a lot, actually. Um, but that is sort of a demo uh, and the first impressions and swatches of this palette. Um, I might have to be to use this a couple more times to decide if it's actually something that stays in my collection because it is pretty pricey. Um, if that can you guys see that on camera? It's like a red line. That can't be the bronzer, right? It can't be for $80. It can't be that bronzer. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to try it a little bit more before I make a final decision. Uh, if you guys have any questions or would like to see more uh, use out of this palette, please let me know down below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.